what I thought I'd very quickly do, just in case you want to look back at them. I've got these answers from the previous questions, and then we'll go through these ones together on this next page here for factorising these ones fully. Um, so, Marco, could you just factorise this first one for me, please? What did you get? Yep. Okay, so I will start with that k plus 1. I'm just going to take it a little bit slower. So we'd have k plus 1 brackets 1 plus k plus 2. Did I say final answer? I'm sorry. I'm wrong then. We'll just do that one in between stage. My apologies. So k plus 1, k plus 3. Um, maybe we will do still that step in between for this one here. Theo, can I ask you how you went through this one that we had? Yeah, just left that. And then. Second part is 5, so take out 5, and yep. 2k plus minus 1. Good. So, your skill here as a mathematician, obviously, I've told you to factorize this. If this popped up halfway through a random topic, you should spot that this is related to this. That's what it means to become like really good at maths. So, sorry, continue. Um, so, now k squared plus 5. And 2k minus 1. And that one's just going to stay as it is because we can't do anything to this k squared plus 5. OK, so for this last one, um, Marco, would you just take me through what you did, what you took out, and, and what we had then? Yeah, that seems to be. They've all got a bracket with k plus 1. But remember when we're factorizing, we always want to take out. What do we want to take out when we're factorizing? Good, the highest common factor. And so the highest common factor is actually a k plus 1 squared. And you, if you can force it to be the highest common factor all the time, this topic will become really easy. So what did you then have for your next brackets? Nice. Yep. K plus 1 has got to be in the brackets as well. Yep. Yep. Minus 1. So you got your plus k squared from here and your minus 1 from here. k squared plus 2k plus 1. Good, that factorizes to k plus 1, k plus 1. k plus 1 to the power of 4. So believe it or not, this messy um, algebraic sentence that we've got here is just the same as k plus 1 to the power of 4. It's nice to see like all of those techniques coming together. Um, really, I guess the whole thing here is, if something has got a common factor, like in this case it was k plus 1 squared, you're no longer really imagining it as this complicated looking thing. You're actually just imagining it as one single thing, like you would imagine it as a normal algebraic term as x. If you can start to see it in that way, then this will all kind of drop out uh, really, really nicely. Okay, so that's us like having finished some of those bits on factorizing. We'll move on to series. 